All right, welcome back to Star Sector. So, very first thing off is uh, I've renamed some of our ships. I'm actually running out of names on the list. Um, if anybody watching uh, wants to add some names to the list uh, for ships, let me know in the comments and I'll put them on. Uh, anyway, uh, we have the White Fang Wolf now. We have the Hazard Pay Hound. Uh, let's see, Camp Town Ladies Carrier, Suck My Wake for my... Um, Tempest, and I think that's everybody. Okay, um, we are ready to resume, I believe, our mission. Uh, oh, we're actually, yeah, we're actually down here now. Okay, I thought it was still my home system. Let's see if there's anything we want to do here. I don't need arms. Okay. Definitely don't need arms. Telepolis is right next door. Let's see if there's anything we want to do here. Uh, Off-brand data pad. All right, heavy armaments to Sphinx. Mm, I am not a person who can do that right now. Mm, nope. All right, what are we doing here? At the gates. All right. Contact Horus Yerbe in Kazaron. Kazaron is in Thule. All right, off we go. Anyway, I hope you all are having a good day. My day has begun the same way the last two days have gone, with my wife's cat dragging in a screaming bird that she decides, I'm just going to eat here in your office with you while you do your work. And I have had to rescue this bird three times. Every time it's the same bird, she keeps uh, catching what are they called? Um, it's a kind of titmouse. Anyway, a crested... It, it's got a crest or something. Um, you guys are traveling to Al Bar. Anyway, this poor, poor bird. Yesterday, it was just... Ugh, it was too much. Like, she had the bird in, in her mouth. It had given up on screaming. And it was so sad. Because it was just like, if I'm gonna die... I'm gonna sing my last song and it was just singing its bird song and it was just so painful and heartbreaking um, and I was just gonna to toss her outside because like just get out of here if you're gonna kill it do it outside I can't stop mother nature but I not not in my house anyway I tossed her outside and it's like where's the bird because she'd let go of it I was like looking around where's this freaking bird and it's clinging to my pants quietly and anyway, I was able to take it outside, and it was just like, but the thing was in shock. This was the one that, like I said, it had been, like, just singing. Like, that was what was horrible. So my cat's murdering a bird, and this poor bird is just singing like it's going to finally find its long-lost love. Anyway, I was like, I, I put it outside, and I was like, okay, man, but this is the best I can do for you. I put some bird seed in front of it. I, I don't know what to do. I was like, I, who am I going to call to rest, like, to re... I don't know how to raise, I don't know how to repair a bird. Um, anyway, um, the good news is though, the bird did muster and flew off. So, yay. <laughs> it was heartbreaking. I was just like, if my cat finds you again, you're dead, buddy. You are dead. I don't know what to do. Um, anyway, here we are. Let's talk to Horace Yarabe. The comms resolves to Horus Yarbe's face, distracted by something off display. Oh, you've interrupted. Well, fine, fine. The damage is done. You, this said to someone off display. You can finish up later. I must take this. Horus Yarbe turns to you finally. Well, go on. What could be so important? Hmm. What? Hmm. Hmm. 
This is not what I expected. Nope. 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 <sighs> what have I missed here? Okay. That's annoying. I don't know what's going on there. I have missed something. Horus here, Bay, and I don't know what it is, and I don't have. something I need. However, my mission is telling me to go. Oh, get the gate scanning instrument from Academician Cruise. Oh, maybe I already did it? I don't know. Anyway. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> what? I remember being given the information to blackmail him. Okay. The comm image stabilizes on Carew's in her laboratory office, surrounded by holographic projections of data tables. Oh, she says, looking up. Captain Justin Bailey. Yes. Ah, Provost Baird said, I'd fill you in on the new development. She sweeps away several displays worth of work. Arcane glyphs and diagrams collapse into unobtrusive icons. First, she says, this is a prototype device. I told you, the Provost, that we're only partway through the test procedures. We've been using the Glacia gate as a test case, but I suppose if we make ongoing calibrations and update the firmware via Hypercom, Carew's mumbles to herself as she starts tapping on the new checklist. What exactly is it you want me to do? She looks abashed. I'm sorry, I'm not doing a very good job of this, am I? Teaching was never... Sorry, let me answer your question first. Carew's takes a breath, centering herself. This prototype can interact with the gate manifold itself. It is my supposition that the gate network is not so much collapsed as it is folded up. It's there, but inaccessible. Maybe. We'll need to test certain properties, and she looks at an ancillary display, catches herself, and turns back to you. It was your scan of the moat induction device from the ziggurat hole that opened the door. It showed us things. Her voice rises with excitement. Unimaginable things! Or she catches her enthusiasm with a skeptical look. Highly improbable with the current body of accepted theory. There are entirely new subfields of hyperspace physics out there in their whatever, just waiting for first observation. Fascinating. How will I be assisting in these new discoveries? Okay, calm down. I need to know. Right, of course, we're transferring the gate scanner to your fleet now. I'll give you the rundown on operation. Carews pulls up a new shared hollow display, a wireframe de depiction of a domain era gate, an icon standing off about three diameters from the ring itself, seems to represent your flagship. You recognize a diffuse bubble around it as it as the influence of a drive field. Looks simple enough. You'll have to be stationed fairly close to the gate, and you must ensure that there are no drive fields within the gate diameter itself. She focuses back on the display. Once you're in place, execute the preceded instructions. The data will encrypt itself and be sent back to me when you're in range of hypercom relay. We'll need to collaborate the hyperdimensional transform, of course, so you'll need to scan six different gates. We've already scanned the Glacia gate, so it has to be six other gates. Then comes the next step. Um, Provost Baird said I shouldn't talk about it, Carew says, but seeing as how you're in the line of fire, without thinking she glances away, then speaks quietly. 
we've been calling it the Janus device. It, it's premature to name it, I admit, but when the hyperphysics team gets excited, she shrugs helplessly. There's no stopping them. It's just Carew's notices a blinking display. The equipment transfer is complete, Captain. You're good to go. Great, time to scan some gates. What was that you were saying? She sighs unhappily. She looks more tired than you've ever seen. The team is eager, and I appreciate their work, but my strength in theory, not hardware applications. It's, it's also clumsy, and our fabrication equipment. The techs try their best, but the provost expects the world and more. She wants to push the schedule faster, and it's too fast. I need time to refine the math to run more equipment tests to get to the top line components, Carew stifles a yawn, and get some sleep. She looks away. If Eliza was here, this would all be so simple. The math. Who will think of the math? Uh, Eliza's owl, right, from Westerness. Um, Caruso looks at you like she's thinking to trust you to hide some. Yes, I mean, at first, yes, things became complex. She got in a lot of trouble, and I don't want to make it any worse. One of her many displays pops an alert which chimes urgently. Sorry, Captain, I need to get back to work. We put together a new hyperwave rig. They're waiting for me in the test chamber. Good luck. Cut the comm link. Okay. Hmm. I don't remember which planet she's on, but let's go to see if we can rouse up Elise. Let's go around and Syrah. I believe there's a gate in that system, too. We have been in here, right? Yeah. Hmm. Delivering harvested organs. That sounds yummy. Independence love us. All right, emergency burned is. All right, move in to engage. We'll keep our frigates behind for pursuit. Search and destroy. That's my target. Nice. Over here. That took care of him right quick.
Takes care of him. I am missing. I think we're going to catch him, but... Blow up the asteroid, quickly. Thank you. All right. Pursue them. Uh, nothing to put me in. He'll go in. You will go in. Because your fighters might be able to catch up. Go. Let's see how we do. That's good. Excellent. Feel free to use your missiles. No, guys, stop that. Crikey. That was a debacle. Worked out, but fleet definitely did not do what it was supposed to, or what I intended anyway. Do I want a brawler? I do want a brawler at some point. Not this one though. There we go. Yum yum. Oh, salvage that for sure. Wow. Yeah, sure. I mean, we're going to sell it. I should probably just have scrapped it, but... It's got a couple machine guns. Do I need machine guns on anything? No. I don't think so. Alright, I should have scrapped it, but whatever. Let's get through here. Here we go. We are 
running out a lot of supplies. Need to buy some. Okay. I think it's Ficken Held that she's on. Now well, let's sell. I don't need this. Hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. <clears throat> uh, nowhere close by wants it. It's okay. We got so much cargo space, I can afford to hang on to this and sell it at my convenience. Uh, the Sabos, we'll get rid of this stuff though. Another LR. I could update you. Unless it was you I wanted to update. I don't think so. I think you're fine. Yeah, I think this is fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, so we took that off. Oh, we are at max. Okay. Okay. Well, let's finish by seeing if this is our place. It is not. It is not. All right. Well, when we come back, we'll see. I'll try to figure out which planet she's on. I know we talked to her. Right? See what kind of trouble we can get into. No. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time, and we're gonna go see if we can find Elise. Is that her name? Yeah. Anyway, we'll see if we can find her, and uh, help out Caruse, Sila. Yeah. Anyway, see you then. Till then, bye bye.